video. For today's video, as you guys can see, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. Yeah, I'm doing a get ready with me today. I just wanna talk to you guys about some stuff and I know how to incorporate it in a regular video. Hold on, my hair was wet. So I don't know how to incorporate it in a regular video. So I was like, I'm just gonna do a get ready with me. And get ready with me are fun and they actually make me get dressed quicker. So, and I'm kind of in a rush today. So yeah, let me brush my teeth real quick before we continue this conversation. Because your girl, Marseille. I use this Crest charcoal and then I use a Oral-B toothbrush. I already put my lotion on, but I need to really put it on my hands. I put on this is Winter Candy Apple. Y'all smells so good. I got it when their season was ending and they had that big ass sale. I went there and I asked, I said, why do you guys have these sales half a year? Every half year, like half of the year. And they said, because they're trying to get rid of the old stuff and put in the new stuff. And I was like, interesting. So I got a bunch of Christmas stuff. I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things. So I just wanted to say first that I have not been posting on YouTube. Do y'all want to know why? Probably. If you don't, well, it's either you're gonna listen or leave. <laughs> I've just been in this little like, what am I supposed to do with my life? I know I'm still young. I don't have to have my life figured out. And I feel like a lot of people feel like they have to have their lives figured out by now. When in reality, a lot of people don't even have their life figured out right now. I always just get super overwhelmed. Like, what am I supposed to do? And then sometimes I just think that YouTube is just starting to turn into this real toxic thing. I was talking to my friend the other day and she motivates me so much. She has her own lash line and hairline. It's basically all the same. It's called the Bougie Experience. So it's on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. So if you wanna go check her out, you can. I just got my stuff yesterday, or no, it was a couple days ago I got my stuff. I got a pair of lashes and some little glasses. And anywho, this her own business, right? So she was motivating me to like do something. <laughs> And she basically asked me like, what is my passion? My face is on red because I just washed my face. She asked me like, what is my passion? And I was like, I don't really have a passion, but if I were to pick something right now, it would be interior design. So she told me, which I don't know why I've never even thought to do this, is like incorporated in my videos. Like do something I love on YouTube. Like I like YouTube, but I don't really have like YouTube things that I like to do. So she's like incorporated into your YouTube channel. Like just do stuff, do like a before and after room design or something of that nature. And I think that's what I kind of want to start focusing on. I want to start focusing on what I love to do and incorporate it with my channel because I do have a platform that a lot of people don't have. So I definitely want to start doing that more. I mean, I just want to start doing what I love and doing it on YouTube. I feel like that's a great idea. And I was going to go to school, but I decided not to. My other friend convinced me kind of not to go to school because she's like, what you want to go for, you can YouTube. <laughs> you don't need a degree. You can go on YouTube. Yeah, I'm really just thinking about trying to do other things because sometimes YouTube is very toxic. The people on it are toxic. A lot of people can ignore it i am not that person so yeah so yeah another thing is i was trying to be vegan <laughs> didn't really work out so well um i tried for like two days i tried to do like a meal plan thing and i was going to do like a whole grocery haul and stuff but i felt like i want to do that after i'm consistent on it for a minute before i do it and then stop and then everybody's like what's going on i just said i was gonna do my hair and put my hair back up it's not really working out so well my birthday's coming up i finally figured out what i was gonna do where i was gonna go and stuff which is great i want to make sure i feel confident and good on my birthday so i really want to start working out and stuff. I know I see a lot and don't do much, but I'm really gonna try. And I'm not gonna announce it to the world that I'm trying, like I am right now, but like if I really do it, I'm not gonna be like, oh, today's day one. I wanna make sure I could do it on my own by myself before I tell anybody because people will literally be on my ass 24 seven if I told people. If I started after today, who will really know? Because I'm not telling nobody. But I have been taking vitamins like consistently. I've been taking them for about four or five days consistently now and I definitely feel like I can tell a difference on some days. I take a multivitamin that I got from Walgreens or CVS. It's a good brand. I looked it up on that Think Dirty app and it was one of the best ones on there. I got some multivitamins and then I take B12 vitamins and then I take garlic vitamins. I've been taking them consistently every day for the past like five days. And honestly, I have been seeing a difference. So it makes me excited. I seen this thing on Facebook. It's like a face slimmer and I was like, I kind of want to try it out. I didn't order it yet, but a lot of people in the comments were saying that they see they're they're seeing a difference. So I was like, hmm, I should try it because I'm so insecure about my double chin. I'm gonna try that. I gotta get my hair for my birthday. I'm trying to find blonde, okay? I'm trying to find blonde, but I'm trying to find somebody that would just make the wig for me, like they already have hair or sell hair, and just make it for me, so I don't have to buy a wig separately, have somebody make it, put it on, blah blah blah. So I'm trying to find somebody that knows a hair vendor or something that they could just get the hair from. If you didn't know, we got a second dog, so. We 
that we're expanding our family. He, I was so scared at first. Like I was nervous. And I think I said it in one of my vlogs or get ready with me or something. I was super nervous when he first came here. Like how are we supposed to take care of two? Like Arlo's already grown. So she like knows what to do, what not to do. I mean, she doesn't know everything. She still be eating random stuff, but you know, it's just it's scary. It's like having a baby. So he's getting so much better though. And he's so smart. He amazes me every day really. And he just gets bigger and bigger. And I really love him. And I told you, Mila, I was like, a lot of people when they can't handle dogs like me back then, you just give them away. And I was like, I don't want to do that with Nick. Like, I feel like if he does something wrong, then I will figure out a way to fix it. Train him better, take classes, like little stuff like that so he can learn instead of just passing him off to somebody else. Because I've, I've been telling my mom, like, I feel like dogs are orphans and it's so sad because it's like they come out their mother and then get taken away from their mother. Not all the time, but shit. I don't know the percentages, but it seems like most of the time that's what people do. Or breeders, like they literally have babies and then sell them. And I don't know, it just makes me so sad. Like I always said, if Arlo got pregnant, I would not give rid of her baby. Like I want her baby to grow up with her. Like I feel like that's just what you should do. But yeah, he's getting so much better. It's making me so happy. Cause I love me some Nick. He's so cute. He's still like doing okay at night. He got better yesterday. He was super quiet. He would be screaming at the top of his lungs. Okay, the top of his lungs for like hours out the night trying to get somebody's attention. So, and this whole coronavirus shit, y'all. Let me talk about that. I'm about to get dressed real quick though. Cause I want to do my makeup and stuff. So I'm gonna get dressed real quick and I'll be right back. I am dressed. I can finally pull this out. Cause you know, your girl. <sighs> It's looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hair back up. I took it down because the way it was drying was like the top of it was drying and the bottom wasn't. It looked crazy. Let me grab my makeup. And I gotta hurry up because I gotta be gone in a little bit. So about this virus, I feel like a lot of people are making jokes and being funny and it's very serious, okay? I feel like this is a serious matter right now and everybody wanna play and make jokes and follow the way, but uh -huh. this is just the government's way of trying to keep us in so they can do something, blah, blah, blah. Which may be true, but we don't know that. I feel like a lot of people are taking the precautions that they need to take from this happening and it's sad i'm taking it serious i disinfect this house so much i disinfect the house almost every single day actually i do every single day right when i come back in from going anywhere i wash my hands um i have hand sanitizer all throughout the house i have hand sanitizer in my purse like i'm not playing no games and i feel like a lot of people are playing games and thinking this shit's funny until it actually happens to them which is really sad it should not be like this like people should be taking this shit seriously and i hate the fact all these people are panicking and going to buy a bunch of stuff and then these people that work paycheck to paycheck have to wait till they get their paycheck to go get something but can they even do that because all the stuff is gone i just feel for a lot of people right now i feel like this definitely is very serious at first i'm like i wasn't taking it serious but i wasn't like not leaving the house i'm a homebody i'm in the house all the time like this is nothing new i really wasn't taking it serious at first i'm not gonna lie because i was like okay everybody's talking about it so of course it's gonna scare people but i feel like right now i feel like it's getting serious because a lot of big huge places are selling out shutting down people are coming back from college because of what's going on yeah this is a mess right now but everybody really needs to think like okay it doesn't matter how serious it is it's the matter of how crazy people can get and this is just my opinion i feel like a lot of people are like going crazy and thinking they have to do all this stuff not giving anybody else a chance people are stabbing people in places and just doing the most and it makes me so sad that people just can't try to be safe like what we'll wipe away too much. We'll wipe away too much. I feel like there's, it's like we're in the jungle right now. It's like there's not enough food for everybody. So everybody has to go get the last of everything. And it sucks. I went to a Walmart the other day and oh my gosh, y'all. There was no pasta. Like none. And you know pasta aisles be full. There was no pasta. And it made me so sad. Like wow. You go to Costco, people are buying stuff in bulk and reselling it. Like why can't everybody just want to help each other? Like <laughs> I don't get it. It's sad. I hope this passes over as it should. And everybody just goes back to living how they were because right now it ain't looking too nice it's looking like the world finna end to be honest with you so i'm just putting foundation on my pimple and then i put like the bb cream on the rest of my face because my pimples be popping it sucks and i'm trying to stay safe i'm trying to order stuff online yeah like i said i'm a homebody i stay in the crib i'm not trying to go out regardless so if i do go out for something it's something for the house or something that i need like but i feel like at some point they're just gonna tell us to stay in our homes if we can't come outside businesses are gonna go out like don't y'all feel like this like we're finna go into a recession like i feel like 
this is about to start some new world shit and everybody keeps making jokes about it I, matter of fact i'm gonna go and follow this girl because i don't know why i still follow her there was this girl that made like a whole video and it was she made like this whole shit into a joke and it's like okay you want to go viral for making it a joke i know y'all seen that i think it was a basketball player that was touching on her mics and shit and then ended up getting it like y'all need to stop playing because when it's you you're gonna be boohoo crying telling everybody to pray for you or like if people have family members that have it and are like struggling to recover because not everybody can recover from it it's just like any other virus like some people don't recover from the flu i had pneumonia like good stuff that people actually pass away from and people are like taking this as a joke and i don't think it's funny anymore i don't like it i hate when people joke about it you saying all this stuff until it happens to you and god forbid something crazy happened to you everybody needs to just stop making it a joke and take it seriously and we'll all be good Done, y'all. I had to hurry up, but my hair is like, ooh. Um, my outfit. Let me show y'all my outfit. I think I'm gonna tie this up. I think that would look so much cuter. Let me just do that while I'm talking. I'm probably just leave it like this. So this is my outfit. Boom. There you go. Finally got dressed and uh, get ready with me. These pants are 13, but they're hella stretchy. So I'm kind of thinking about getting an 11 next time because wow. That's it for this video, guys. I'm back. My hair is dry, and I decided to put it up because I didn't want to keep it down. It just didn't look right. But this is my hair now. That's all. Bye. <laughs>